Emergency services are responding to a number of serious crashes around the country. In the Timidu district, State Highway 79 is closed south of Geraldine between the Earl Road and Brenton Road intersections. Herald photographer George Hurd is at the scene and says the crash has happened on a bridge. The first state highway, so it's a busy road. Um, a lot of tourists travel down this road. There's quite significant roadblocks up with a lot of people travelling to work, wondering where to go and how to get there. Meanwhile, there are major delays on State Highway 1 between Auckland and Hamilton, with the motorway closed between Te Kaufata and Pocono due to a head-on crash. And in Kaipara District, emergency services are responding to a serious crash near Dargaville. Meanwhile, a large fire at a Te Awamutu commercial address last night has been deemed suspicious. Investigators are returning to the Rickett Road scene this morning. Fire and emergency were called to the blaze just before 9pm. Seven fire trucks were sent to the building, which has multiple tenancies. Locals on social media reported seeing significant amounts of smoke with the smell engulfing the surrounding area. Another sign that inflation is showing no sign of easing. The latest Infometrics Foodstuffs New Zealand Grocery Supply Cost Index out this morning shows costs for supermarkets increased 10.3% in the year to March. It's an indicator of what we can expect from the food price inflation rate today and the overall CPI inflation rate on Thursday. Infometrics principal economist Brad Olson says the high food prices are the direct result of Cyclone Gabrielle. We know, for example, that produce costs from suppliers have risen over 20% over the last year. That reflects and, and continues to reflect through into the cost on shelf. It's the sixth month in a row in which supplier costs have increased by more than 10%. The number of households that have lived in emergency housing for more than two years has doubled in a year to 132. March figures show demand increase to 24,000 applicants. 3,417 households are in emergency accommodation. Figures are up compared to January, but down from a peak in December 2021. Child Poverty Action Group housing spokesperson Alan Johnson says there's concern people are being left on wait lists for long periods. Maybe they're living in the wrong part of New Zealand and, and all those sorts of things, but it does appear as though maybe those people are being overlooked and that for some reason or not they're not getting the priority they should. More troubled tamariki are being helped not to reoffend. It's been six months since the government announced an expansion of Kotahi Te Whakaro to West Auckland as well as the city's south. Of the 147 children engaged, just 27 have reoffended. Minister for Social Development and Employment, Carmel Cipolloni, says the programs also supported 373 siblings and wider family members. She says many of these young people come from Fano with reports of violence or where a member of the family has been incarcerated. A Christchurch businessman is about to embark on a 250-kilometre marathon across the Saharan Desert for charity. David Cartwright's final preparations are underway ahead of the seven-day marathon Desablat, known as the toughest foot race on the planet. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel to stay up to date with all the latest news from the New Zealand Herald. Click the subscribe button below or check out one of the videos here and head over to nzherald.co.nz for more details on these stories and more.